We are live. It's week 10. It's the Axis versus P90X. And QB Axis is feeling dip, uh, excellent. This is Tim Rica. So I'm fucking stuck in my basement with goddamn COVID. And so I'm uh, sitting here and I told Bobby to send me some videos. Axis is looking pretty lucky on the condition setup, except for Killer Hernandez, who was injured. One thing I never liked about um, the bye week is I always wish injuries were factored into the bye week. Oh, yeah, I fucking feel my Rathman's hurt. Well, that's painful. At least Cap Bozo's feeling good. <laughs> so the Axes, right, currently sitting atop the power rankings, undefeated. But going up against a pretty tough team, John Balogs, John Balrogs, the P team beach body, P90X, a heavy, the only heavy pass team in the league. And they're sitting at 5-3. and three. They just put a walloping on... Uh, I think it was Levi's team they just played. The Dykes feeling good. That's nice. Snow White's feeling good. D Green. Filter's bad. Aircraft carrier's excellent. So the Axe is coming off a of bye week. Did not play in week nine. I think uh, Team Beachbody already had it. Ooh, their QB is hurt. That is pretty significant. Oh, that's really significant. Well, hopefully for a good game, they'll come back. Of course, selfishly, I wouldn't mind if he just stayed on the bench. Got some good running back subs. QB, one wide receiver, wide receiver one feeling excellent. Got a couple of linemen feeling, oh, three linemen feeling bad. <coughs> One guy feeling excellent, that'll give him a little boost. Kicker's feeling excellent. And punter, it doesn't really matter. Not the strongest lineman we've ever seen. They do have a good nose tackle. He decided to go with three linebackers. And then pretty good DBs all the way through. Got a feeling excellent free safety. <laughs> feeling good. Strong safety. All right, so let's see what happens here. Tony Horton, is that the fucking QB? I think so. That was pretty lucky. Where's my fucking killer Hernandez? That's some bullshit. And Raph. Neither one of those guys come back. My team's set up so I can handle one injury reasonably well, but if I get two, then we really start slowing up on offense. So let's see what happens. One leg Eric to kick. Yep, I got my shitty returner stumbling, bumbling back there. He's gonna dream of making it to the 20. Does make it to the 20 and holds on to the ball. That's all you can ask for that bastard. All right, we need a steady dose of steel meal. Fire up! Wild man Adam comes in and gets a big sack. <coughs> Here's the pitch to Ricky. Decides to make his own line. Doesn't get anywhere. Third and 19. Go in motion. I'm going to give to Neil. He's got a hell of a long way to go and he falls down. Disappointing. Not the start the axes were looking for. Threat of a block punt on that one. Schmedium kick out to Johnson, who is destroyed at the 45. All right, so you got a feeling the Axes O is not going to put up quite their normal points with a couple guys out. So we're going to need to have some good stops here. Come on, that play should not be gaining 11 yards. Shotgun formation for Horton. Yes, it did come back. Lucky little fuck. Get him, boys. There you go. Mike the Dyke gets in there for a small sack. Loses two. Horton again. Called play. Gets the ball off, but unable to make the catch. Third and 12. Big stop here. Going shotgun. Going to pitch it up. Sean T making some nice moves. Does get him within field goal range. From just inside the top hash. Looks like a pretty good kick. It's a hair low. There was a guy there, but they don't get in. So P90X draws first blood from one leg Eric. And he 
Virginia comes bumbling. Gets to the 25 once again. <laughs> Going four wide. Got the potential here. Called fucking play. Fires it quick. Lucky that one wasn't picked off or caught. Offset. Gonna pass. Got a lot of pressure. Fine scary. There's our first positive offensive play. Run, Terry. And Terry's to the 37, getting inside the P90's side of the field. Here comes some motion. Good. Yeah, run with fucking Neil on down one. Come on, Neil. Neil had that glorious play where he dragged someone for 12 yards, making the highlights. See if he can do the same. This time they give him to the near side. He's got a lot of speed, a lot of space. Needs to hurl a guy. Still fighting. And gets down to the 10. Couple more run plays, baby. Couple more run plays. All right, we can do the quick dump off to Ricky. Who will be open. Dump it off to him. Dump it off to him. Oh, they try to force it to flatten you. They push it. What are we going to do here? The pitch down to Ricky. Pretty good defensive coverage. Ricky doesn't have any hitting power, although he's reasonably fast. Can't get anywhere. Not the greatest play call here, especially when it's called. Axes will take the sack, and they'll be forced to settle for a field goal. Disappointing. Looking to try to tie it up, and he's going to drill it. So at least some positive offense there, but not quite the speed and prowess that we're used to. Johnson taking it to the 20, out past the 30, still on his feet, making some nice moves. At least somebody ties him up and they drag him down, but he gets all the way out almost to the 50, big return. Call play, this could be rough. Oh, so that call play sometimes works when they, uh, when they throw it. But luckily, Horton decided just to tuck the ball and run. He's got a man wide open, but he's going to run again. Foolish. A little lucky there on those two plays for the Axis. The line comes in. He fires it. Gets the first and hurls a guy. Does not. Big tackle, and they decide to go for it. Interesting call here. Let's see what they do. They're going to pitch. We need someone to break through. Oh, he fumbles the ball. Lots of axes there. Good, and just as effective as a stop. Pretty huge. He was reaching the ball out to ensure he got the first down, and down he went. And here comes Killer. Look at Killer. He's got one man to beat. Hurl that guy. Fuck, couldn't hurl him. Does pick big pickup, though, down to the 22. That weak side opens working well. Gonna have Ricky. We need to. No, he's not. Can he beat the guy? Yes. Touchdown. Perfectly placed by Axes on top of the coverage. A guy that wasn't quite there. Terry was streaking around. That's the play you're looking for. Big turnaround. We had a fumble. Get the ball back. March down the field. Two great plays. That's what you love to see. <coughs> Okay, medium kick from third leg. Taking a good angle. Got to shut down Johnson. Don't want to get him to the 50 like he did before. Going to pass. Going to have somebody pretty deep. Oh, didn't make the right decision there. Double covered instead. Can we get somebody coming through the line? No, nope. and he's going to have somebody... Hits him, a nice diving grab for Weber to get inside the Axis territory. Two back set here for Horton. He's going to run. I don't know why we'd ever call a run play against this team, but it is what it is. Looks like they may be trying something similar. They liked what they saw. It definitely has a better opening. Picks up a pretty big good gain, third and eight. I think they're just trying to line plunge it in. Can anybody make a defensive play? They cannot. Oh! We need speed. We will not have it. And Caesar comes flying through. Plows through. Amolia Caesar. And that looks to tie the game. Nice run by him. Perfect kick right down the center. And we're looking at 10 10. Here comes Bumbling. 
once again gets out to the 20. He's at the 25. Look at him go to the 30. At least he got to the sidelines in case he coughed it up. Looking to feed Neil here. I'm all about that. The dude's feeling excellent. Let's see what he can get. Make some moves. Ah, oh, hurled one man, but then was set up to be tackled by the next. Four wide, going for the deep strike. Terry is wide open. Got a lofted to him. Perfect. It's a diving catch for Terry to the 28. Here comes the three wing. Will Ricky be open? He will. Quick dump off. Finds Ricky. Got some speed. Gets a nice first down, 12 yards. Now they're inside the red zone. Looks like they're going to try that again. Going to have it open again. There's somebody there. Oh, but a nice defensive play as a DB knocked it down with a great jump. They're just going to keep feeding that play, hoping there's a weak spot there with Ricky. Axis is going to try to take it himself, and he's going to score. Feeling excellent. A little extra speed there. Axis runs in in honor of QB Eagles and QB Bills. QB motherfucking Axis does get a nice score. Oh, but they blocked the kick. Guy came in from outside. I wasn't even sure he was going to be in the screen, and not only is he in the screen, he's blocking the kick. Pretty good kick by third leg and good coverage. They're down at the 10. He's in the gun. Does the shotgun. Makes one nice move. Picks up a reasonable six. Okay, four wide here. Axes don't cover well. He's going to fire it deep to Weber. Perfectly on strike. They do at least wrap him up. God, he's fighting everybody off. And then he coughs up the ball. That sometimes happens with all those fights. <clears throat> That's brutal. Such a nice play, and then he coughs it up. Neon Dion recovers. Neil trying to find some opening. Hurling people. Big nine-yard pickup. 55 seconds left. Axis dreaming dreams with some more points on the board here. Got to make up for that missed field goal. Missed extra point. This time they feed the near side. Oh, Neil, not even able to get the first. Thought for sure maybe that was going to be a big one. Nice play by that linebacker. They're going Neil once again. Reads it better. Flying through the sidelines. Gets a nice first down. 33 seconds, one play, and then perhaps a field goal. What are we going to do here? We're going red gun. See if we can get the top guy open. No, we're going to have the dump off. Finds to Ricky, but it's knocked away too slow. They're going to be forced to settle for a field goal from the bottom hash. Reasonably long. We're looking at a 51-yarder. And I don't know. It looks a little high. And it's blocked to be said air. That's not good. And this guy's running away from people. So that's painful. Axe has had a chance to give themselves just a two-score lead, but failed to do so. Axe is playing okay, but definitely a little bit off. Kind of like their owner. Just a touch off today. And the Axes will be kicking off. Johnson there to return the kick. He's had a couple of good returns thus far. Starts at the four. Hits down to the near side. Drop down around the 17. Horton gets his line to hold. Gets a little dump off there. Nice little 12-yard play. Four wide. These plays can be lethal. Love to see a little bit more pressure. That time it's knocked away. He's going to have somebody deep low. He's going to find him. Blam! But it's just a little too long. Couldn't quite find that angle there. Third and ten. This is a big third down here. Going for that big strike. We need some pressure. We do have a little bit of pressure, but he fires it. Oh, but it's an air and throw. Try to force it too quick, and they'll be forced to punt. <laughs> See if we can put a little pressure on the punter. Oh, Chase Young gets tied up at the top. No chance of a block, and we got Bumbling back there. Let's dream dreams. It's a... Thank God. It's too deep. All right, this is good. This is good. Hold the line, boys. Gonna have Scary Terry. Finds him. Perfect throw. Look at Terry. To the 40. To the 30. 
to the 20, still running his Terry, down at the 10. Big play, big play, just what you want to see coming on at halftime. Okay, they decide not to pitch. He may take it himself. Worked once, but only picked up two on that one. Couldn't quite get that right angle. Not the greatest play of all time here when you're in this close. Might get a quick dump off. Fire it to flatten you, who catches it. Yeah, buddy, flatten you perfectly in the corner. QB axis did not push it. Put that beautiful soft touch on there, even though there's a man in his face. That's what we're looking for. Impressive little doink there. Johnson, pretty nice runs out to the 45. Game's far from over. 13-point lead for the Axes. Uh-oh, he's going to have his guy wide open. We're going to need some linebackers to come through. We do not. Oh, and he makes a shitty decision. That's painful. Got one man in his face. Does fire it off to Blam. Just six inches past his fingertips. <coughs> Shotgun formation here, and a lot of pressure. Piercy Snow White gets in there, flushed him, and then took him down from the back, and they're going to be forced to punt. Chase gets around him, but can't quite make that tackle. Does flatten the kicker. Bumbling will return. Does his famous, gets out to the 20, and holds on the ball. So far, he's done everything you can ask him to do. Here comes motion. Neal breaks to the outside. Gets a nice block. Needs a diver. Picks up his feet. And down at the 39. Big run for Neal. Here comes the pitch to Ricky. Gets around that first wave. Gets a couple of nice blockers. Good run down to the 15. A little dump off to Ricky would go very well here. He's got him. Does find the dump off. Makes a nice move. Look at Ricky. The guy was too aggressive, and Ricky just blew by him. Wasn't expecting that speed. They don't call him tricky for nothing. That's pretty serious. QB axis finds him for another strike. Johnson, pretty good. Oh, Johnson coughs up the ball. They've been unfortunate with their fumbles, but they do get a fast guy to recover it. And Horton, their QB, is there. He's tackled at the 45. Make it to 40. Okay, he's got a dump off. Decides to force it to Weber, but he's covered. Old man D. Green there, ready to knock it down. Here comes the run up the middle. Fools him for a couple, but not a huge pickup. Wants to go deep. Only has dump offs. Finds the dump off. Nice job to keep the ball moving, keep the chains going. Four wide here. Got a man deep. This is dangerous. Finds him at the 10. Drea. No one's going to catch him. That's a big score. And that's just what they needed going into the fourth quarter. Suddenly pull this game back to within two scores, and anything can happen. Actually, timing may be perfect. I think they'll go for an onside here. Uh, one second left. That's too bad for them. Oh, we get a block. So they are going to kick it to Bumbling. Just hold on to the ball, buddy. Just hold on to the ball. Okay, one second left in the third. Three wide for the axes. Not going to have a ton of open guys. Oh, he somehow forces it into Ricky, who at least picks up a couple. That could have been a pick. Got a lot of pressure. Gets good coverage. Oh, and he throws him open once again. QB Axis is having a great touch so far. That was awesome. The lineman picked up exactly who they needed to pick up. He's got him open this time. Quick fire. Oh, and again a catch. Getting a lot of catches and coverage here. That's the joy of the QB excellent. QB Axis feeling excellent. And a little lucky. 
got the dump off. Decides to force it, but knocked away. Cap <laughs> Bozo couldn't make the catch. Second and ten. Gonna plow up the middle. Haven't really tried this play. He hasn't done a ton. The guy chops down Ricky's legs pretty quick. Big play here, and he just gets it off, and it's picked. Went to the well, one, two, off, and, and they make him pay. There was a man in his face. He tried to feed Terry. Throw was decent, but couldn't quite get out in front of him. And this is problematic. There goes a deep strike to Weber. These high-pass teams can score very fast. It's only a 14-point game. Can't get too cocky. Some pressure, but a guy's slow. Oh, but he gets in there. That's pretty sweet. Dent in your fucking head. Thank you, Richard. Maybe put a dick dent in your head. Four wide again. Pressure. Chase Young gets around him that time. Double sack, and it's third and 30. One more big stop. I'll let them, I imagine they'll go for it. Here comes motion. Try to feed up the middle, but our line is too good for that. Fourth and 29, and they're going field goal. Interesting. Pretty long field goal, too. They are exactly in the middle. Let's see what he does. I think he drilled it if he's got enough leg. And he does. Interesting call. So one leg Eric shocks down one of the biggest field goal, longest field goals of the season. They decide not to go for the onside kick. That's a little questionable. And Bumblin once again goes down and holds onto the ball. So he gets an A for effort. What a run here. Wild Man Adam throws two guys, great effort, and then comes in with a big sack. Three wide once again. He's got the dump off. He may just take it himself. And only picks up a couple, and then down goes fucking X's. That is painful. Super painful there. A lot of X's all of a sudden. Tubalard has got to come into play. And he doesn't have nearly the same stats. I also got a huge game next week up against DTG. And that's troublesome. Tubby does find Cap Bozo. Look at this play. Unbelievable. Everyone's diving. Cap Bozo to the nine. What a hell of a play there. Tubby comes in and drills a perfect shot right off the bat. They're going to feed him again. He's got Steel Neal up top. If he can find him, decides to do a slow toss to Ricky. Lucky that one wasn't picked off. Come on, run with fucking Neal. We got one of the best runners in the goddamn league. Come on, Neal. Get open. Hurl some people. Ugh, close. A field goal's useful, but it still gives him... Well, it's pretty fucking useful. And, oh, look at that. Fourth and one. What are we going to do? We're going to go for the field goal. There's just not enough time, I don't think, for Beachbody. Would have been tempted just to plunge it in there. <coughs> so third leg brings it up, 33. And Johnson, still alive, gets two blocks. And he's down. There's only 36 seconds left. They basically need to score here, onside, and score again. They are going to have a man open. Oh, uh, and he gets off the blocker, but can't put any, had to throw from his back foot. Nothing doing there. A lot of pressure. Man in his face. Fires it deep to Weber. Oh, just beyond. They're just trying to push it a little bit too much. And that's going to be all she wrote for the game. Let's see what they can do in this last play here. Line holds. He's got a man open. Finds Weber with a jumping catch right on the sideline. And there's no one there. There's only one guy. I don't even think he's going to get to him. He may score. And does. A little too late, but certainly helps with some pride. Drea Weber with a nice catch and score there. There is some pressure, but they sneak it through. So just a one-score victory. But we got a lot. There's a lot going on here. Horton, they did get a little lucky with Horton coming right back after his injury. And unfortunately, QB axes. Feeling excellent. Playing amazing. Leading an undefeated team goes down. 
and they are up against the Axes go up against their division rival DTG who started out just amazing um, in the beginning of the season then suffered some injuries but if they come in healthy it's going to be one hell of a battle for the Axes. Alright folks hope you enjoyed it thanks for tuning in.